Hi, so today we're going to talk about graphing quadratics and we're going to talk about using vertical and horizontal shifting. So I want to use Desmos graphing calculator to walk through some of these quadratics and see what the shifts do. So here we have our red graph. It is a graph of x squared. You can see that we have this point at 0, 0 this point at 1 squared, which is 1, and this point over here at negative 1 squared, which is 1. I tell my classes that these are the three most important points for them to show on the graph, which is the vertex, and then one point at least on each side of the vertex. Now these dots are easy for us to put on 0, 0, 1, 1, negative 1, 1. If we wanted another dot after that, we would go maybe to 2, 4. 2 squared is 4. And negative 2 is also 4. That gives us, if we're drawing this graph by hand, some nice dots for us to go through. Now obviously Desmos does all that for us. We don't need those dots, but I just want you to remember where they are. So now I want to take a look at this graph with a vertical shift. So now we have x squared plus 2 being the green graph, and what we can see is it literally shifted our graph up 2. If we were to add another graph, x squared minus 3, say, it should be no surprise that that new graph, which is yellow here, has been shifted down three. All three of those parabolas are exactly the same size. They've just been shifted up or down depending on the number added or subtracted, that constant at the end of the equation. So now let's look at what happens with a horizontal shift. The difference between the horizontal shift is the x the difference with the horizontal shift in the green graph, for example, which graph 2 we could call, a horizontal graph, a horizontal shift occurs when the constant is being added or subtracted from the x before the squaring happens. So now we can see each of these graphs with some horizontal shifts applied. We have our red graph, which is still x squared, dot at 0, dot at 1, 1, negative 1, 1. And we can see these graphs that have been shifted left with a positive 2 and right with a negative 3. Now, these are tricky. Horizontal shifts do not occur the way they say. They occur the opposite way on the x-axis. So putting this all together, what would you expect a graph of x minus 2 squared plus 1 to look like? Hopefully, what you said is this negative 2 is going to shift us 2 units to the right. This plus 1 at the end is going to shift us up 1 unit. That gives us a parabola centered with the vertex at 2, 1. Once we have that vertex in place, 2, 1, notice this dot still goes over 1, up 1, that 1, 1 position away. And this one still lies in that first box. Same layout as we had here. It's just been shifted. Thanks for watching.